Hi everybody, it's Thorn. Welcome to my downstairs. I have a different background. Um, I'm making this video because I had a conversation with somebody um, about kind of the ubiquity of Wicca and what it means to be Wiccan and is it even really possible to practice witchcraft from a non-Wiccan perspective just because like Wicca is kind of everywhere. If you listened to my interview um, on occultism with a side of salt, um, that was something that I, I quipped um, with the hosts and we were talking about how, you know, and maybe you've seen this. This is a complaint I hear all the time when we talk about books. Maybe it's one that you've made, which is like you go to buy a book about witchcraft. You're interested in witchcraft broadly and it's like everything is really just Wicca. Um, and we say all day long that you know, Wicca is a particularly kind of religious witchcraft, like that's a specific variety of witchcraft, um, but it's not, it's not the entirety of witchcraft. Um, a common saying, of course, is that witchcraft is the practice, Wicca is a religion. You can potentially combine witchcraft with other religious traditions if you want to, but Wicca is a very specific kind of religious witchcraft. Um, like that's kind of the refrain everywhere. Um, so this person and I were chatting about like that, not even just the frustration of finding something outside of Wicca, like just as a seeker, as somebody who's exploring, who wants to learn in the broadest sense possible. Um, but also as somebody who maybe, um, you know, wants, wants to be respectful of Wicca. Like if you see Wicca as being a particular kind of like initiatory mystery tradition, um, then like maybe there's some concern about just referring to yourself as Wiccan if you're not an initiate in that mystery tradition. Okay. Um, so I wanted just to kind of speak briefly, um, not to like really definitively answer those concerns necessarily, cause I'm not sure that we can, um, but sort of point out like why it's, a, why it's difficult. Like, why is that so hard? Um, why is it that you, you seem to not be able to get away from Wicca? Like you go down to the bookstore and even if the book says that it's traditional witchcraft or it's non-Wiccan witchcraft or it's secular witchcraft or whatever, why is it that there's so much freaking Wicca everywhere, everybody? There's Wicca on us. Like, even if we don't mean for, and maybe this is a weird video for a Wiccan to make, but like, there you go. Like somebody, somebody's going to say it. <laughs> um, so there's a component to this conversation that feels obvious to me. And maybe that's, it's, this is why a Wiccan needs to say this perhaps. Um, but I don't think it is obvious just because I don't see it in like memes and TikTok videos and I don't see it coming up when people make these kinds of observations. Um, and that's that this assertion that witchcraft is a practice and Wicca is a religion, which would seem to then make it easy to avoid Wicca. The reason that falls apart is because Wicca is also a practice. Um, like there are specific ritual frameworks. There are specific pieces of liturgy. There are specific perspectives that are Wiccan kind of regardless of what you think about gods, whether or not you are invested in a moon goddess and her horned consort really has no bearing on your ritual practice that might still be Wiccan. Um, which is why when you sit down and read a book and it says that it's non-Wiccan, but it still feels like Wicca, that's why. It's because Wicca is also a practical thing that you do independent of how you think about deities. Um, and I think that maybe that's not something that is really well understood by non-Wiccan practitioners. Um, so Wicca, as I think probably most of you know, um, and if you, if you don't, you're about to, um, Wicca is very squarely situated in this kind of wider lineage of Western 
esoteric traditions, okay? Um, I mean, if you sit down and you look at not just Wiccan history, but like actual like Wiccan liturgy, Wiccan texts, it's very obviously connected to what was going on with the Golden Dawn, with the OTO, like it's traceable. This is one of the reasons why people aren't interested in Wicca a lot of the time is because they're interested more in folk traditions, traditions that are passed down, ancient paganisms, reconstructionism, etc. Like Wicca is, Wicca is really modern um, and we can trace its lineage. Obviously it's inspired by these older ideas, but like if you don't have the Golden Dawn, you don't get Wicca. Like if you don't have these contemporary occult thinkers, you don't get Wicca in, you know, in the 1950s and later. Um, and those, that lineage is visible through the rites and rituals of Wicca. Um, so if you are working in, if you're casting a circle, if you're invoking four elements, if you have four elemental tools, which you might recognize from the tarot, right? The, the knife, the wand, the pentacle, um, the chalice, like if you have those things, like this is like this type of witchcraft that's that's wicca's framework that is the practice of wicca i think people i think people outside of wicca have this idea that like it's just a question of like worshiping a goddess or something um but it's actually like functionally getting up and doing these things um which is why your non-Wiccan witchcraft can still look and feel and smell like Wicca, even if you don't want it to. Um, it's because Wicca is a practice. It's also a religion, um, and people understand it really differently. I mean, I think it's difficult for people to sort of conceive that Wiccans within like a same, the same coven, the same tradition can potentially have different understandings of the divine or relationships with the sacred, etc. But what unites them is that practice, that getting up and doing. Um, so if you really want to not have Wicca on you, then I think like you really need to just be brave enough to totally overhaul that model entirely. Like, if you don't want to be Wiccan, like, what does your witchcraft look like if you're not operating in a circle? If you're not operating with these four classical elements? If you're not using these conventional, um, you know, contemporary Western esoteric tools? Like, if you're not operating within this, like, very modern agricultural like eight season sabbat wheel of the year like like these things are wiccan um and when you just remove the word wicca but you don't remove the practices of wicca like that's why it still feels like wicca everybody and that's why when you're trying to have discourse with other kinds of witches and they're going, mm, it's still pretty Wiccan, right? And people can't talk to each other. It's because that difference in how we understand what witchcraft is and what Wicca is, is often um, like really diverse. Like we disagree about those things. I think it's also important to just not be so in love with those categories. Um, I mean, even originally, like we, we call, we call ourselves Wiccan now, but we didn't used to. And plenty of traditionals of traditional initiates don't call themselves Wiccans. Um, I mean, Gardner wasn't running around calling himself a Wiccan, right? Like those labels were, were applied later. Um, I think to, to distinguish this tradition from other kinds of witchcraft, um, that were also becoming popular at the same time. Um, so like, the, the boundaries move. And I think maybe we need to just be a little bit less in love with having those hard defined um, walls maybe in between our traditions. Um, so just some thoughts. I mean, yeah, uh, I hope you all are well. I'm actually really amazed that my cats haven't bombarded me in this video. Um, but have a good weekend. See you next time.